Okay, this is video three. Yeah, this was video three. Uh, so here's the kidney again that we, we looked at uh, in some detail in the previous video. And these nephrons, now these functional units of the uh, kidney are in green, and we can see them over here. So a nephron consists of a corpuscle, which we see in detail over here. And a corpuscle consists of two parts, basically. The glomerular capsule, or Bowman's capsule, right here, this outer bit, and the glomerulus, which is this ball of capillaries in here. Blood comes in under very high pressures for a capillary bed uh, and is filtered out uh, into this glomerular space, this, this uh, sorry, capsular space around the glomerulus with these, through these little cells that are basically look like little spiders that are part of the inner wall. They're kind of the inside wall of this capsule. Uh, these guys are called podocytes. And the, the uh, plasma, the, the liquid portion of the blood, is filtered past them, leaving all of the big cells and big proteins and a lot of large molecules and stuff still in the uh, glomerulus to continue on with the blood when it leaves. But the stuff that leaks out is called filtrate glomerular filtrate and it has a lot it has water and urea and a lot of ions and salts and a bunch of other stuff and we're going to later get some of that back uh, in any case so let's follow the path of this filtrate so that it filters out and it enters this little tubule right here which we can just basically see over here so this tubule is called the proximal convoluted tubule it's proximal meaning near this corpuscle and it's convoluted meaning it's got a lot of squiggly curves in it. Proximal convoluted tubule then descends into this nephron loop or loop of Henle and there's two limbs of it. There's the descending limb and the ascending limb and that ascending limb then forms another squiggly line which is called the distal convoluted tubule. So this, this brighter green one is the distal one even though it looks like it comes pretty close and it comes close for a reason. Uh, there's an interface between the the glomerulus and the distal convoluted tubule at this point called the juxtaglomerular apparatus, which is going to be a bit deeper topic than I'm going to cover here. Uh, ultimately, this processed urine it finds its way to these things, which are called collecting ducts. And these collecting ducts, as we saw in the previous uh, model, file down these uh, renal pyramids here, ultimately you know, draining. So by the time you get to the collecting duct, you're almost at uh, a finished product. You can reabsorb some water and you can do some other stuff, but basically you've made, you've made urine by this point. Uh, this border right here, this kind of imaginary border, is the border between the cortex, and you can see the fibrous capsule, uh, cortex, and the medulla. And cut. <laughs>